Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, present Wild Bill Hickok! Hiya, folks. Hold on to your hats and gallop along with Guy Madison as Wild Bill Hickok and his pal Jingles, which is me, Andy Devine. We got another rootin' tootin' Wild Bill Hickok adventure story brought to you by Kellogg's Pep Wheat Flakes, the whole wheat cereal that's Melba toasted for richer flavor, extra crispness. Today, Kellogg's Pep Wheat Flakes, that Melba toasted whole wheat cereal brings you Wild Bill Hickok. Transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. In just 30 seconds, you'll hear the exciting story, The Rustlers of Rattlesnake Bend. Hello again, kids. This is Charlie Lyon, all tuned up to shout Merry Christmas in a couple of days. I never saw so many happy-looking cowpokes around. <laughs> yes, sirree, just full of sunshine and goodness. You know, there's something about Kellogg's Pep Wheat Flakes that just makes everybody feel great. Must be because they're Melba toasted, toasted clear through for extra rich flavor and extra freshness. Well, now keep it up, kids. Make Kellogg's Pep Whole Wheat Flakes your favorite cereal and stay happy. <laughs> United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his big good-natured deputy Jingles were known the length and breadth of the cattle belt. It was only natural that Red Tolman would call on the two famous lawmen the minute steers from his prize herd began to disappear mysteriously. Bill and Jingles wasted no time in getting to the Tolman Circle Bar Ranch. But from there out, it was blue gun smoke and a blistering fight as they locked horns with the rustlers of Rattlesnake Bend. Now, there's as fine a herd of cattle as I ever laid eyes on, Bill. You're right about that, Jingles. Then you can understand why I ain't happy about losing any more of them, Bill. I sure can, Mr. Tolman. Ain't uh, you got any idea who's doing this wrestling, Mr. Tolman? I got more than that, Jingles. I know who it is. You do? Sure, it's Brick Booker and his gang. But nobody can catch him in it. Booker's slickered and blue clay in a cloudburst. Bill, Bill. Buckshot smells trouble. Yeah, pardon me. His ears are really going up. Hey there, Bill. Off in them trees. A horse and rider. Yeah, I see him. Let's go ask him what he's doing. Bill, he's shooting at us. Look at him run. Let's go get him, Jingles. I'll bet he's one of Booker's men. Then come on. After him, Buckshot. Yeah! Jeff Joker, that maverick's got some talking to do. Ha, ha, ha! That's a good horse he's riding, Jingles. He's one of Booker's men, all right. How do you know? He's heading right through one mule pass. Everything on the other side of that pass is Booker's property. Everything? Yep, from Rattlesnake Bend to Three Finger Canyon. He's got it all, and we ain't got no more chance to set foot on that land than fly it. How come? On account of Buster. Buster? Who's Buster? Booker's head gun slick. Put them two together, and you got enough meanness to last till judgment. Bill, that Jasper's going through the pass. So are we, partner. Come on. Hi, my shot. <laughs> It's sure death to go through there, Hickok. Bill, sure an arrow. Let me go through first, Jingles. Sure, I ain't arguing about this. <coughs> Bill! All right, gents, hold it right there. Oh, Buckshot. Oh, Joker. Hickok, that's Buster. Watch him. It ain't healthy to ride through one mule pass without an invite, gents. You gonna feed on them, boys? Uh, Bill, we're surrounded. Looks that way, partner. Now turn them horses around and head out of here. Not so fast, mister. We're chasing a bushwhacker that rode through here. Bushwhacker? Now, ain't that funny? We didn't see a soul come through that pass before you rode up, did we, boys? No, that just ain't so. You calling me a liar, big boy? Well, figure it out for yourself, you long-eared blowhard. Never mind, Jingles. Looks like we'll have to take his word for it. Yeah, Bill, let's get out of here. You better get while the getting's good. And don't let your horses stray back into Brick Booker's land again. He don't like it. You're right about that, Buster. I don't like it. Booker. That's right, Tolman. 
What are you doing bringing Wild Bill Hickok and his deputy through one mule pass? Maybe I can answer that for you, Booker. All right, Hickok, I'm listening. Some bushwhacker took a shot at us, then headed straight through this pass to your land. You've got a lot of people gunning for you, Hickok. Must have been some drifter. This was no drifter, Booker. He was riding a clean saddle and a fresh horse. Yeah, and I'll bet he was one of them rustlers, Bill. What's that? What Jingles means is this, Booker. Up to now, we've had no definite lead on the cattle thieves. Now, maybe we've got one. You calling me a rustler, Hickok? If you think the shoe fits, Booker, try it on for size. Why, you blast him out of the saddles, man! Let him have it! Hi, cowpokes. Our friend Bronco Buster said he'd be a little late getting here today. Well, now, while we're waiting, let's just brush up on our facts about Kellogg's Pep Whole Wheat Flakes. First, always remember that Kellogg's Pep Whole Wheat Flakes are Melba toasted. Each whole wheat flake is toasted clear through for richer flavor and extra freshness. Then, don't forget that Kellogg's Pep Whole Wheat Flakes are fortified with vitamin D, the sunshine vitamin that builds up your food energy. Every average bowlful gives you a whole day's supply of healthy vitamin D. Now next... Oh, oh, wait a minute. Here comes Bronco. Hi, Charlie. Hi. Hey, I, I sure been traipsing around today. I've been helping the mailman. You know, here it is, almost Christmas, and I guess there's nobody in the world busier than a mailman these days. <laughs> Unless it's old Santa himself. Well, now, I'm real proud of you, Bronco. He's right, kids. With all these Christmas cards and packages to deliver at the last minute, Uncle Sam's mailmen have their hands full. So let's greet him with a smile and a helping hand when possible. Hey, you know what, Charlie? Our mailman said he has Kellogg's Pep Whole Wheat Flakes lots of mornings for breakfast. Well, now, we certainly all know there's nothing like a good breakfast before a busy day. How about it, boys and girls? Remind your mom to get a package of Kellogg's Pep Whole Wheat Flakes next time she's shopping. There's nothing better for breakfast on these exciting days. While Bill Hickok's veiled accusation of rustling threw Brick Booker into a rage, and he yelled... Blast them! Gents, drop those guns on the ground. <laughs> Booker ain't got one left to drop. Hickok, you just bought a six-foot hole on Boot Hill. Booker, I'm out to get the rustlers, and I'm not quitting till I do. I'm warning you, Hickok. You put foot on my land again, and you're a dead marshal. Take a good look at them, boys. The next time you see them, shoot first. And don't ask no questions. <laughs> What are we going to the Cattlemen's Association for, Bill? If Booker's rustling cattle, he's got to sell them, Jingle. Sure, and there'd be a record of all his sales at the association. That's right, Mr. Tolman. But I don't see how that'd help us. You will, partner. Who, oh, Buck? Oh, 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 Joker. Yeah. You figure to get the answers here, Bill? It's a place to start checking, Jingle. Howdy, gents. What can the Cattlemen's Association do for you? Well, tell us who's rustling all these cows, that's what. Hold it, Jingles. Oh, what's that? Rustlers. We've got reason to believe there's been some rustling around here. I'd like to check your shipment records for the past year. Them records are confidential. Can't show them to every drifter that wanders in here. Drifter, why you... Settle down, that's... partner. Oh. My name's Hickok, mister, United States Marshal. Here's my authority. Marshal? Hickok? <laughs> Makes you change your tune, don't it? Oh, sorry, Marshal. My name's Branley. Sure, sure, you can see the records. Uh, anybody you're checking on in particular? I'd rather not say right now, Mr. Branley. Oh, that's your business. There's the book of records, all in order. Good. That ought to show all the shipments and how much they sold for, Hickok. It does, all right. See anything out of the way, Bill? Not on the face of it, Jingles. There ain't nothing wrong with those records. Everything's right there. And if you don't believe it, you can check the bank deposits right next door. I might just do that, Branley. Thanks for your help. Anytime, Marshal. Anytime at all. Now, doggone it, Bill Hickok. You cut out all this mystery business. What'd you find out? Mr. Tolman, 
You got any idea how many cattle have come up missing this year? I sure, Bill. Near 4,000 from the whole county. Me and Ted Ringle was biggest losers. And the records show Booker shipped 2,152. His roundup count checks with that. You're going to look at his bank deposits? Booker's smart enough to see that they'd check that out, too. But what if he put the rest of his money in another bank? You might have something there, partner. Hey, Bill, look. That was Branley talking to Booker, too. And Branley's riding out of town. Looks like we might have stirred up something after all. Hey, Bill, Booker's headed over here. Yeah, now you let me do the talking part. Sure, Bill. I won't even think of saying one little measly word. Well, Booker, what were you talking to Branley about? Jingles. Oh, oh, I mean how to do. Good afternoon, Mr. Booker, you varmint. Well, Hickok, I see you've been checking up on me, huh? Is that what Branley told you? Yeah. And if you want to keep your health, you better quit a throwing my name around. I'm not one to hold still for it. You don't need to worry, Booker. I guess I was wrong about you. What's that? That's right. Your records were all in order. I'll have to look somewhere else for the rustlers. Well, <laughs> well now that's better. I told you you were barking up the wrong tree. But I still ain't forgetting this morning. So don't come snooping around my range again or your snooping's over for keeps. Why, you hammerhead... Jingles, no... never mind. But, Bill, you know he's as guilty as a coyote in a chicken coop. Say, you suddenly get scared of him or something? Yeah, Hickok. He's the wrestler or I ain't standing here. You letting us ranchers down? Now you two get a holder on your tempers. We got work to do. Jingles, you take a circle out of town and follow Brantley. I want to know where he goes and what he does. What for? Now there's no time for questions, partner. Get riding. Oh, you're thinking up a big trick, huh? Well, come on, Joker. The fat's in the fire. <laughs> Looks more like the fat's in the saddle. <laughs> now you quit talking like that to me, Red Tolman, or me and Bill won't help you find them rustlers at all. We won't if you don't get a wiggle on, Jingles. Oh, yeah. Well, so long. See you back at Tolman's Ranch. Get along, Joker. See you later, Bill. Now, what are we going to do, Hickok? Head for your ranch. Get in the saddle, Red. Unless I miss my guess, we're going to see plenty of action tonight. Get in there, buttshot. Cut them out. Yeah! Hup, you critters. Yeah! Let's go to Bill. Yeah, Tolman, the trap's all ready to spring. Come on over here and we'll wait for him. Dead burn, Hickok. I never seen anything to match up to the way you handle a bunch of cows. My best waddy couldn't hold a candle to you. Give the credit to Buckshot. I'd just go along for the ride. Well, what are we going to do now? Wait. Now, what are we waiting for? A number of things. First, I'm figuring Booker and his boys will come down to steal that small herd we just cut out for them. Small herd? There's 50 head in that bunch. When you bait a trap, the bait's got to be worth it. Hey, Bill. I hear him. Yeah, right on time. But how do you figure it's Booker? You told him he was in the clear. I heard you. That's right. Nothing like a little overconfidence to make a man careless. Hey, boss. Must be 50 head in this bunch. Want to take them all? It's Tolman's best stock. Sure. <laughs> it's almost too easy. Yeah. How'd you throw Hickok off your trail? I'm just too smart for him, that's all. I get these cattle moving. You gotta change those brands before sunup. Oh, that ain't no trick at all, changing a circle bar to a rattlesnake. Ha! Who out, you critters? Ha! Yeah! Bill, they're getting away with it, and I ain't letting them. No, Tolman, don't shoot. You let me go, or I'll show them. Boss! Somebody shoot! Hold your fire, Tolman. Here, give me that rock. Stand, burn it, they'll get away. That's what I want them to do now. Quiet! Do you see anybody, boss? No, it's too dark. Get those cattle out of here. Been shot at before, but we ain't been caught yet. And we're not gonna be. Yeah! They took the bait, Tolman. Now I'm beginning to wonder what's keeping Jingle. That got it, Buster? Yeah, that's the last of them, boss. 52 of Tolman's prize steers carrying our bright new rattlesnake brand. Yeah, that's a right good haul for one night, huh? <laughs> all right, boys, cut out the fattest one. We'll all have steaks for supper on old man Tolman. <laughs> Say, boss, wonder how come Brantley ain't showed up yet. You stop worrying, he'll be here. I keep thinking Hickok might be wiser than you thinking something might go wrong. Forget Hickok, I told you. 
Told you that thunder-headed star packer can't outsmart Brick Booker. Hey, what's that? Shots from one mule pass. Boss, look, it's Brandley, coming like mad. Yeah, somebody's after him. Hey, boss, it's Hickok Deputy. Jingles. It's all right, we'll take care of him. Buster, get over there with your rope. When he rides up, we'll just drop a loop over. Gotcha, boss. Good boy. And don't miss. Grizzly bears are baby compared to Jingles. All right, Brandon, get over there now. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Get on. Easy now. Easy. Come back here, you lop eared gopher. You can't shoot at me and get away with it. You ready, Buster? Yeah. Now, everybody, hey! Shooting isn't gonna do you any good now, you big ox. Hold him in, Buck. Give a tight rope now. Now, doggone it, where'd you two varmints come from? Where's that Bramley? I'm right here, but it won't do you no good. You low-down sneaking weasel. I saw you go into that bank, and I saw that sack of money you carried out over in Millview. Bill was right, you're in cahoots with Booker. So Hickok sent you, huh? Boss, I told you Hickok was wise to you. Yeah. He's going to be mighty sorry he got so smart when this big tub he calls a deputy comes up missing. Hey, now, what are you going to do with me? You'll find out soon enough. Drag him in, Buster. First, we'll have that big steak supper I promised the boys. Then we'll take care of Jingles for good. Hey, fellas and gals, if you haven't yet corralled the F-86 model fighter jet you get with a package of Kellogg's Pep Whole Wheat Flakes, you better hurry, because the supply is getting mighty low. That's right. And say, these plastic model fighter jets are a world of fun that you won't want to miss out on. Fun to get together with your friends and form an air squadron. Fun for dog fights. Fun for all sorts of contests. Contests for distance, height, or length of flying time in the air. Now, this plane comes complete with rubber-powered launcher, and there aren't any parts to glue together. All you do is slip the wing into place, and you're all set to send this fighter jet soaring. And don't forget to tell the fellas and gals about how this plane's made a durable plastic so that it can stand lots and lots of hard landings. Oh, I won't have to now that you've told them, but I will tell everyone that you'll have to hurry if you want to get one of these slim, trim, sleek F-86 Sabre jets. Now, here's all you do. You don't send in any money, coupons, or box tops or anything like that. Just have Mom pick up a package of Kellogg's Pep Whole Wheat Flakes, either large or regular size. With each package of Kellogg's Pep Whole Wheat Flakes, you'll find your F-86 fighter jet. But do it today so you won't miss out. Remember, you can get your plane just by getting a package of Kellogg's Pep Whole Wheat Flakes from your grocers. Just when things were looking fine for Wild Bill Hickok's plan to trap Brick Booker and his rustling crew, Jingles fell into Booker's hands. Bill and Tolman, meantime, were waiting for Jingles to return to the Tolman ranch. No sign of Jingles yet, Hickok. You reckon he's run into trouble? I hope not. Well, when are we going to go nab Booker? All in good time. Good time, my eye. Quit stalling, Hickok. Last night, you let Booker get away with 50 head of my best stock, and I want him back. You'll get him back. Just hold on to your horses. Hold nothing. You think you got a case against Booker with all your fancy plans? Let's go bring him in. Later. Right now, we're trailing Jingles, and we're going to find him if it takes all day or all week. <laughs> Boy, look at him. I'll bet old man Tolman at Boyle if he saw us eating steaks from one of his best steers. <laughs> yeah, he sure would. <laughs> By the way, boss, what do you want done with the hide from that critter? Throw it over there under the tree. Bury it later. Hey, doggone it. Now, ain't you going to give me one of them steaks? Now, who ever heard of a deputy United States Marshal eating steaks from a stolen cow, huh? Oh, well, that's right. Doggone it anyway. <laughs> well, then, if I can't eat them... One of you low-down polecats untie me so I can move around to the other side where I can't smell them cooking. You ain't moving nowhere till we're ready to move you. What are you going to do with me, huh? What are you? I haven't decided yet. 
Maybe I'll just throw you over a cliff into the river. Oh. Or hang you from the nearest tree. Oh. Or just make it simple and fill you full of lead and bury you deep. Now shut up till I make up my mind. Oh. Booker, did you put that sack of money in the safe? Yeah, Brantley, I did, and I quit you worrying. I wish you'd have torn up that deposit slip with my name on it. If the Cattlemen's Association found out that They're not going to find out. Now shut up and eat. You're spoiling my supper. Doggone it, I've had enough of this. I'm just getting good and mad. Oh, oh, shut up, you Oh, boy. try and make me. I just wish I had a chance to tell Wild Bill Hickok what I know about you sidewinders. Well, you ain't going to get that chance. Now shut your yap before I come over there and shut it for you. Go ahead and talk, Jingles. Bill! Oh, Hooker is Hickok. Blast him out, get him myself. <laughs> I told you, Boogie, your draw's too slow. Now, the next man that moves is a dead rustler. Untie Jingles, Toman. Yeah, I'll get him. Bill, I've given you up for good. Uh, how did you find me? I just followed my nose to where steaks were cooking, partner, and here you were. Well, I wasn't eating any, Bill. That's stolen beef. Huh. You know I wouldn't sit down to supper with no cattle thieves. Thank you, Mr. Tolman. Get the gun, Jingles. It'll be a pleasure. Booker, what are we going to do? Shut up. Give me a chance to think. I should have done some of that thinking earlier, Booker. Your time's run out by now. You're bluffing, Hickok. You're the one that's bluffing, Booker. Tolman and I heard everything you said for the last hour. But hearsay don't stand up in court. No, but that hide will. You should have buried it before supper. What hide? The one from the steer you've been eating. Get it, Jingles. Sure. But I don't see what that's going to prove for you. Booker's in for a surprise, partner. What's he talking about, Booker? How should I know? Here's here's the hide, Bill. What are you going to do with it? Turn it inside out, Jingles, and show it to Booker in the light from the fire. There it is. You look at it, Booker. Yeah, but I don't see nothing. Look closer, and you'll see the scar tissue on the inside of that hide. It shows a circle bar brand, the old one that Toman put there when that stair was a yearling. What? Hey, Bill, by jingo, it's there, all right. But on the outside of that hide, there's a rattlesnake brand, a fresh one you put there this morning with a running iron. That's enough to put you in jail, Booker. (laughs) But there's more, Bill. But Brantley went to the bank in Millview. And took all the money out and brought it to Booker. Yeah, how'd you know? I figured as much. (laughs) It was deposited in Brantley's name, but it was Booker's money. The association will take care of you, Branley. I didn't do nothing. It was all Booker's doings. He made me bank that money. Shut up, you jughead. And he made you falsify those records you showed me yesterday. Yes, that's right. He made me do it. Tell it to the court. Round them up, Jingles, and we'll take them in. Uh, What about my cows? Well, Booker and his boys can drive them back to your range on the way to jail. I ain't driving nothing. Bill, look out for Booker. I'm going to kill you, Hickok, with my bare hands. You may be going to try, Booker. I'm going to butcher you, big boy. Come on, Buster. I've been itching to mess up your face. Keep your ass covered, Tommy. ain't moving, Bill. This is for button and Hickok. Your punch is no better than your draw, Booker. Hold still, you big moose. Yeah, you're the one that's going to be still, Buster. Oh, I got mine, Bill. How are you coming? You better ask Booker. Woo-wee. Well, I guess it wouldn't do no good now. He couldn't give it and give an answer anyhow. Now, ain't they a peaceful-looking pair? All right, the rest of you Jaspers, pick those two up, and we'll get started for the sheriff's office. Now, let's not be in any rush, Bill. Why not, Jingles? What's on your mind? Well, um, well there's a half a dozen steaks left on the fire, and... Since they belong to Mr. Tolman now that we caught the rustlers, <laughs> I just thought I'd invite myself to be his guest and clean up these little titbits. Care to join me? It won't take a minute. <laughs> And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison and Andy Devine. We'll be back again on Wednesday, folks, with another story that's kind of special. How about it, Andy? You're doggone right it's special, Guy. It's our Christmas story. Join us, will you? Meanwhile, Andy and I hope you'll remember to ask Mom to get a big package of the Melba Toasted Whole Wheat Cereal, Kellogg's Pep Wheat Flakes. Melba Toasted for extra crispness and richer flavor... And kept that way by a special wax-tight inner bag. That's another reason why Kellogg's Pep Wheat Flakes are so popular. Right, Andy? Right, guys. So long, kids. See you Wednesday. (laughs) (laughs) Kellogg's, the 
greatest name in serials, has brought you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Tony Barrett, Jim Nusser, Bob Bruce, and Fred Shields. Our director is Paul Pierce, story by Larry Hayes, music by Dick Orant. This is a David Heyer production, transcribed in Hollywood. Now, this is Charlie Lyon, speaking for Kellogg, the greatest name in serials. Reminding you to listen again Wednesday, same time, same station, when Kellogg's Sugar Pops presents Wild Bill Hickok in the Christmas story of Sir Tommy, the Silver Knight. Thank <laughs> you.